craft seems to be a trend these days. At Spring City, craft is not a trend, it's a tradition. We carry on this tradition because it's the right way to do it. We rely on our craftsmen in every stage of the manufacturing process because we refuse to hide behind the statement they just don't make things like they used to. We are not okay with our customers replacing a post that has stood for a hundred years with a product that fails in 10. It may take longer, has limited automation and higher production cost, but it's the only way to ensure quality, accurate historic reproductions that'll last generations. Craftsmanship starts in engineering. Our loose piece casting manufacturing allows engineers to create symmetrical details not hindered by casting or manufacturing limitations. Ornate details transfers to the pattern equipment, which is critical to produce a quality mold. Once designed, the pattern shop prepares corresponding patterns and the molding flask for the pour. The flask is a two-part system composed of the cope, the upper half, and the drag, the bottom half. Both the cope and drag are prepared by placing a large pattern piece followed by individual loose pieces that make up the intricate ornate details. Once the complete pattern is placed, the cope and drag is assembled and layer after layer of fine casting sand is poured and compacted. Compacting the sand is a delicate process that takes a combination of finesse, mechanical power, and experience. The remaining flask is filled and packed to complete the molding process. The cope and drag is separated and craftsmen begin to remove the pattern and the loose pieces. What makes the loose piece casting more superb than a one-piece pattern is the ability to create three-dimensional undercuts even on the seam where the cope and drag close. Without the use of the loose piece process, any details around the parting line would be lost once the pattern is pulled from the mold. Many other manufacturers will cheat the mold by creating shapes at the seams that adhere to a one-piece pour method. It might simplify the manufacturing, but it makes it impossible to create true symmetrical patterns compromises details and historic accuracy. Spring City uses the loose piece method even on simpler poles to ensure a higher level of consistency in flute patterns and details of the design intent. After the pattern pieces are removed, chaplets are inserted. The chaplets both support the core and set the wall thickness of the pole, ensuring proper structural performance and allowing wires to pass through the luminaire. Once the core is placed, the drag and cope are closed and secured together. Then the flask is ready for the pour. Now that you've had a glimpse into our manufacturing artistry, please visit our website or give us a call to learn more about our decorative lighting options.